Hey, everybody. My name is Odell Horn. I'm the North Georgia Conference United Methodist Men's President. And I want to welcome you to my weekly video address for Saturday, September the 5th, 2020. Happy Labor Day weekend. I pray that you are making sure that you will social distance this weekend, that you will wear a mask, and that you will not catch the coronavirus. I want to talk to you about two things. Uh, first, I want to talk to you, I want to pick up where I left off concerning Annual Conference 2019. And then I uh, want to talk to you about Annual Conference 2020. Actually, I think I'm going to reverse that order. I'm going to start with the good news. Annual Conference 2020 went rather smoothly. All right. Uh, the first major thing that happened at Annual Conference 2020 is that we approved the closure of 23 congregations in the North Georgia Conference. That is up from 16 that were approved in the 2019 Annual Conference and 10 that were approved and the 2018 annual conference. So far this quadrennium, we have approved the closure of 49 congregations. While we have planted eight for a net loss of 41 congregations. Hmm. I think we're headed in the wrong direction. I wanna remind you at the 2016 general conference that the vital ministry plan, I don't know if that's the exact title, was approved and there are certain benchmarks that each local congregation needs to hit in order to be considered vital ministries. Otherwise, you'll get a visit from your district superintendent for the purposes of either merging your church with another church or closing your church down. One way to prevent that is to make sure that your United Methodist men have adopted the no man left behind model, which we introduced back in 2010, so that we're reaching all the men in our church. The importance of reaching all the men in your church is that when men from the community come and visit your church, if they don't see a brotherhood amongst the men in your church and United Methodist men, because you're not reaching all the men, they won't stick around. So in order for you to be a vital ministry and a vital congregation, and you don't want the district superintendent visiting you, make sure that you adopt no man left behind. I did a presidential address. I think it was presidential address number two. It's on YouTube. I haven't actually emailed it out, but you need to go ahead on YouTube at the North Georgia Conference United Methodist Men's uh, YouTube page and make sure that you watch the video for no man left behind. Uh, annual conference 2019. I showed you this uh, last week. It's the clergy for inclusion slate and 23 of the 27 delegates for the clergy for general jurisdictional and alternates to jurisdictional conference came from Atlanta College Park, Atlanta Decatur Oxford, Atlanta Emory, Atlanta Marietta and Atlanta Roswell. There was one delegate each from Augusta, Gainesville, LaGrange and Rome Carrollton. Amongst the lady, there was much more geographical diversity. 11 of the 27 came from Augusta, Gainesville, Rome, Carrollton, Athens, Griffin, and Northwest. No one came from the LaGrange district. We want to make sure that the entire North Georgia conference is represented amongst the clergy and the lady at general conference. So the next general conference vote will be in 2023 for general conference 2024. I want to make sure that the folk who are outside of metropolitan Atlanta, that you vote for your delegates so that you can have a seat at the table so that your voice can be heard. All right. My name is Odell Horn. I pray that you have a great Labor Day weekend and I'll see you next time.